Let's go. Let's roll. Uh huh. It's your right. Lightning like Steve McQueen I'm in a fast lane when the light turns green And I built tough, I ain't nothing but grit Cause I made rugged blood, sweat and spit Yeah, like a horse I fly Gonna push yourself in for a bumpy ride I like to play hard, but I work harder And I weather the storm cause I'm built stronger I was born to run I was built to last I was made for speed Cause I was born fast morning. Just like that, it's the next day. Um, what can I say that I don't always say? Good night's sleep, no wind, blah, blah, blah. Well, today, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be packing up here. Mama Goose is still sound asleep. It's already 8 o'clock or 7.30, something like that. But in all fairness, we were up pretty late last night. Uh, she, she got Greg somehow convinced to sing 90s music with her all night long and i was a dj so i'm as much to blame as anybody uh, but today what we got to do is we're going to be leaving here uh we're going to go hit up t kettle junction uh we got a little surprise there that we're going to leave um and then we're going to head even further south to racetrack playa uh, the most southern end of that, uh, we're going to stop there, get out. We'll give you guys a you know little walk around. And then we have to head all the way back north to the crater, all the way back around the crater. We're going to backtrack all the way because of all the roads that are closed. And then we're going to head into Panamint Springs, which will allow for drone and real campfires. And we're going to spend our last night uh, at a spot that Greg knows about in Panamint Springs that I can't wait to show you. Uh, but it should be a lot of wheeling today, a uh, lot of windshield time, uh, but it's going to be a pretty great day seeing some awesome stuff that you only have ever heard about, read about. So um, I'm going to get some coffee on and try to encourage Mama Goose to get up and we will catch up with you guys in just a little bit. <laughs> guys so 
tea kettle junction like i was mentioning we're all going to put a sticker on the uh, tea kettle and inside of the tea kettle there's going to be a gift i'm not telling you what it is <laughs> but there will be a gift here and if you happen to see this video and you get it shoot me a dm uh, maybe i'll have another gift for you guys or uh, email me so dear you want to hold that let's see if we can uh let's put the sticker inside it oh uh-huh so two gifts two gifts <laughs> all right throw it on right yeah, here right, right next to there it is nice. it doesn't really fit but looks good good all right. enough hold it now dear <laughs> let's see if we can get this in here and it is a sealed bag guys so and it's good for a whole year <laughs> yes so if you get stuck out here without any food <laughs> good luck getting it out <laughs> all right we're gonna hand it off to the next contestant oh perfect perfect inside of the tea kettle oh with the velcro backing will be a trail newbie patch maybe some other patches too you never know you never know what's in there so <laughs> there it is money tea kettle junction all right i think you should hang this i think so too yeah, I think to yeah. Hang it. yeah 100%. all right Credit to the only woman at camp yes. yeah. dealing with all of us. I know. But she can do some damn good karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where do uh, we have street? We got zip ties right here. Zip oh. ties? There we go. Good job, dear. Yes. <laughs> you want it on uh, your back or you dip your front feet in there? Yeah. yeah. It's only appropriate that we sing the uh, I'm a little teapot song for everybody there on YouTube. So let me kick it off. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. Take when it. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. We know that. All right, so that was fun, huh? Yeah, that was really cool. So we just left Tea Kettle Junction and now we are on our way down to Racetrack Playa. So let's roll. Heading out on our own with our hope in the clouds. And we're starting to see that we're on to something. Feel it coming, we'll keep in our way and we got no reason to wait let the journey take you where it wants to we'll continue to find our way through anything we face we got what it takes all right guys so we just got to racetrack playa all the rigs are here and their drivers um so it is we've seen um lots of video on this place so it is our first time seeing it in person so i'm really excited let's show you what it's like mm. i feel like i'm getting sunburnt by the second <laughs> yeah. So I'm Greg with Trail Newbie. So we are at the racetrack playa. The great mystery is how do these rocks move? You can see the little line behind the rock uh, over here. And some people think it's aliens. Some people think it's people coming out here to move uh, these rocks. I know the secret. And the secret is the wind just blows the rocks when this is slick and wet. So it's really, it's not that much of a secret, but this place is awesome. Um, love being out here, hanging out with uh, Daniel and Tish, just an incredible uh, uh, couple of people to spend time with. Um, get out here, come on out here. This is a great spot to check out here in Death Valley. All right, so we made it back to the Jeeps, safe and sound. <laughs> yes. It was a lot of walking, but it was fun. It was super bright really out there. It's cool to see in person, like the actual trail that these rocks leave. Pretty amazing. Yeah. So we're going to hit the trail now. We're going to head all the way back towards the crater and then over to Panamint Springs. So we got a lot of time, a lot of windshield time coming up. So yeah. we'll save you guys the drama. Catch <laughs> up with you just a little bit. I'm going to 
coming up there. And it, it, it's a lot of photography and well, a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How are you doing? I just want to know. Oh, very cool, man. Oh, uh, awesome. You guys, I recognize you guys. No, I, I saw, I drove that plug, and I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah man, you, you, you guys got a beautiful set of rigs, man. It's <laughs> good. All right, guys, so we are airing down for the second time on this trip, and we have left Death Valley, and we are working our way up into the mountains behind me, and Trail Newbie has got a few spots that he wants to show us. We're gonna do some off-roading and camping the final night here, and it involves some washboard roads, some, uh, you know, decent off-roading, and, uh, He's got a couple sites that we're going to have some options for camping at tonight. So pretty excited. We're just going to air down and we will catch back up with you in the trail. I got to take a layer off. It's getting warm out here. Oh, what's underneath? Uh, oh my gosh. 395 junkie. <laughs> Unbelievable. Straight out of your Minor. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sorry, Johnny, I do love this Johnny Tonto tea, but I'm, I'm uh, layering down. Now. Layering down. Well, I ain't gonna live like this no more. Most of my life's been waging war till I found peace. I could have swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no Well, I ain't gonna live like this no more Trouble comes when the barmaid pours Another four man who should have found the door Oh, when I get going, you can hear me roar And I know I can't live like this no more Like this no more hurting as bad as the years before living in a lie I can't or I had to cut ties to settle the score I ain't gonna live like this no more No more popping, drinking till my body so ain't touched my bed, just sleep on the floor. But I'ma get on my feet, get on my chores, get some things from the hidden store. This old ship's coming back to shore, cause I ain't gonna live like this no more. Right, guys so we're doing some wheeling and i get apparently this uh trail is a lot more yeah, rutted out than it's ever been be, uh, so we're gonna go take a look he said we should all get eyes on it so you're gonna see it when i see it let's see what we got yeah so what's the plan uh this is impassable at this point up there, there's kind of like almost two foot deep 
ruts. So, uh -huh. if you look down here, we are here. Almost to epic camp epic spot. Epic camp spot is oh. there. So, but there's a, another way to get there. If we go back down to here, and we don't have to go all the way back down, but it's a ways down, and you climb up on the ridge line to get there. Okay. Now the benefit from there is to keep going, and this reconnects with the trail that we're on about, what, right. what would that be, half mile up ahead? Mm -hmm. So it's possible that the trail is not washed out. All right, we gotta pull it up ahead of us, coming back down, so we can ask uh, what they encountered. Alright guys, so we made it to campsite option number one and it is <laughs> it is pretty fantastic. Let me uh, turn this camera around and show you what we could be camping with. It's going to be a heck of a sunset, but as you can see we got a bunch of mountains behind us. The trail up coming up here was way easier than the other one. But despite how beautiful it is, I think the general consensus is we are going to continue on simply because it's already windy up here and it will be really windy considering there's some sort of a front moving in tomorrow. So we'll let you know where we land. Everybody what do you think, Mike? with their phones out. Hey there. Hi. Yeah. Hey, are you 395 Junkie, Mama Goose? No, Mrs. Junkie. Wait, are oh. You, are you vlogging? Are you vlogging? Uh, is she are you vlogging? I'm definitely. Wait, he's vlogging. Wait, wait, I'm oh so confused. Gosh. Mike's vlogging too. Oh. It is a vlogging party. This oh is my what gosh. happens when you get YouTubers in the wild. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at this spot, guys. All right, so Daniel gets to sit and relax and enjoy a cold one with some chips and salsa because our chef tonight 
is Mike, Fly Fisher 530. Yes, with the help of Greg. Yes, and Greg. A little bit. It's a little team bit. effort. Yes, Trail Newbies, his sous chef. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So on the agenda for tonight, we have some beef sirloin burgers and uh, some, uh, we're going to cut up some potatoes and make actual french fries and oh. fry them here in the style. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it should be good. Next level. Trail yeah. fries. Yeah. Trail Can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Should be good. Skeets, 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 skeets. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> yeah. I think this site wants some good country music. <laughs> good old Merle. Yeah. Yep. Merle, hang on. Wish your buck was still silver. What do you think, Tish? They come out okay? Yeah. And this just isn't any old Merle Hacker. This might damn well be his best song ever written and sung. You don't have internet, right? We do not. That's Everyone yeah. is giving to you, but you're not giving to us. I know. <laughs> yeah. You gave us this incredible campfire. Yes, yeah. true. <laughs> true. We'll give you that. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so we have the last, uh, the, three, the first three burgers going here, and then the last of the french fries going. So um, we get the first three people eating their burgers, and then we're going to cook up two more after this. Burgers are looking awesome. French fries, we've already done some taste testing. Those are awesome. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully I have a good dinner tonight. Daniel deserves a break. He's always cooking. This dude cooks up awesome meals every time I go camping with him, so it's nice to give these guys a break. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Here we go. Look at these burgers and fries. Thanks to Trill Newbie and Fly Fisher 530 via El Tembo Tuscano. <laughs> Let's eat, dollface. Yes. All right, guys, so this is a perfect example of why we love the Ursuliner. It is about 1030 on Sunday night, uh, President's Weekend. Never mind the hair, this is what happens. We just finished a uh, Instagram live session, which you can find in my feed, where we did a lot of Q&As with a bunch of other YouTubers like Fly Fisher 530, Trail Newbie, Johnny Taco, and... Uh, once we finished that, we all just sat by the fire, hung out, had a few adult beverages, and then the rain started coming down. And it's still early enough, we're not real tired, so we're going to hang out for a little bit. Um, albeit, there's not a whole lot of room in here, but there's enough room that we can get away from the rain. And Mama Goose is hanging out up there, <laughs> and I'm downstairs. We'll get ready for bed, and we'll just hang out in here, you know, and it can rain all at once. But... Uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick little sign off for tonight and we will see you first thing in the morning. We got a little bit more wheeling to do, a few more destinations to cover, and then we're all going to go our separate ways. So have a good night. We will see you first thing in the morning. All right, guys, good morning. Monday morning, and it is cold and rainy outside, which is why we're cooking breakfast and making coffee inside the Jeep, which is another added benefit to the uh, Ursa Miner. Uh, you're not doing this in a rooftop tent. I mean, you could bring all your stuff up there, but I literally got up, came downstairs, grabbed our stuff, and here I am making breakfast, so. Do coffee, gonna do some oatmeal, hopefully the rain will lighten up. Really all we have to do is just put the Ursa Miner down. Everything's already packed. So we're gonna finish doing this. Mama Goose is up, but you are not allowed to view her. Uh, she has very strict rules about filming in the morning, so. That is not true. That's true. No, it's not. It's true. I just don't want to get up. up. All right, guys, we are just uh, waiting on Greg to make some final touches on his packing up the Jeep. <laughs> and then we are going up to a cabin. 
Remember the I name of it? Forget something. Something or I other. Something or other cabin. <laughs> That's where we're headed. It was kind of a cr quick, brief morning. I'm not sure. Did you even get out of the Jeep? I got out of the Jeep for maybe a couple minutes. Yeah. Just to switch my bag from the front seat to the back seat. And then I sat here and I've been in here. Where did you eat your breakfast at, dear? I ate my breakfast upstairs. And deliver breakfast and in bed. And delivered it to me. So we're just, uh, like I said, everybody's ready to go. Greg's a few minutes out. We're going to hit the road. I'm not sure how much footage we're going to get because it's raining. Raining. Um, but should be a fun little drive up to the cabin. We'll show you what that looks like whenever we get there. But it was a fun night last night. Uh, some bonus footage for you guys. If you didn't see my Instagram, uh, I'll leave it there. Uh, we did a live last night, which was about 70, 80 minutes long. And everybody was really engaged. We made sure that we didn't have a whole lot of followers drop off otherwise, or viewers. Uh, we didn't want to fool ourselves and bore you guys to death. But uh, a lot of good questions. So if you guys are interested in uh, looking at that, go to my Instagram channel and uh, you guys can see it there. But yeah. for now, we let's are. Let's go to the cabin. Let's go to the cabin. We'll see you in just a little bit. All right, guys, so we made it, and my understanding is it's one of the cleanest uh, mining cabins that's uh, around here. So we're going to go inside, do a little tour, hang out for a bit before uh, this starts coming down too bad, and uh, we'll show you guys inside. Let's give you a tour. Come on, dear. I got us a cabin for the night. Welcome home. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, wait, it's got a C rating. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how the water works, but somehow the water runs too. But yeah, they've got a whole water system over there just by pressure. I think you just have to open up one of those valves. Not likely that you want to drink it. Does that say, please? Place flag outside when occupied. Remove after all the peace and fun were had. <laughs> all right, guys, so we just want to take an opportunity to thank all of you guys for watching all of our videos. Um, this is probably a three part, two or three part series. And we had a fantastic time from death Valley to now we're in Panamint Springs, uh, Panamint Valley. Panamint Valley. We did a lot of wheeling. We did a lot of windshield time. Yep. Uh, but I think the best part of it was just hanging out with all of you guys, uh, right. meeting, uh, Greg for the first time, camping with Johnny for the first time. <laughs> and of course seeing Mike again, uh, it's always a real pleasure, but, Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it and happy trails. trails.